Hello and welcome to another special edition of UNFPA's COVID-19 Humanitarian Response in Ghana. In our headlines, one, UNFPA supports the Senior Correctional Facility for Juveniles with Dignity Kits. Two, UNFPA presents PPEs and Dignity Kits to the Mercy Women's Catholic Hospital. Three, UNFPA donates to young people living with HIV. Four, UNFPA partners Ministry of Gender on Workshop on Beijing Plus 25 reports. And five, UNFPA joins partners to track the five-year strategic plan to address adolescent pregnancy in Ghana. We begin with our first story where UNFPA has donated dignity kits to the senior correctional facility, formerly the Buster Hall of the Ghana Prison Service, for the benefits of inmates to provide them with relief during the pandemic. Receiving the donation on behalf of the Institute, Assistant Director of Prisons, ADP David Ofosu Ado, commended UNFPA for this valuable support during these unprecedented moments. Still on donations, UNFPA Ghana presented personal protective equipment and dignity kits to the frontline health workers and mothers at the Mercy Women's Catholic Hospital in Mankesin in the central region of Ghana. Receiving the items, the medical director of the hospital, Dr. Justice Hossein, expressed his profound gratitude to UNFPA and promised that the items donated will be put to good use. Also, mothers at the maternity ward said thank you to UNFPA for the kind gesture. The donation forms part of UNFPA's COVID-19 response to ensure that the maternal health of women is protected even during the COVID-19 pandemic. UNFPA has assisted in the mitigation of hardships of vulnerable people during the pandemic through the provision of dignity kits and essential items to young people living with HIV. Receiving the items to be distributed, Executive Director of HFFG, Mrs. Cecilia Senu, thanked UNFPA for the donation stating it will go a long way to help sustain the beneficiaries during this pandemic. To some other stories, the Department of Gender in collaboration with UNFPA Ghana organized a one-day dissemination workshop on Ghana's Beijing Plus 25 report at the Clock Star Hall in Accra. Addressing the audience, UNFPA Ghana Deputy Representative Dr. Agnes Inti Bayura reiterated that promoting the rights of women and girls remains key in UNFPA's mandate. She added that the adoption of the Beijing Declaration has brought about significant progress in achieving SDG 5 gender equality. Last but not least, to ensure the integration of adolescent girls and women empowerment into the development process, UNFPA Ghana supported the Department of Gender and other stakeholders to track the implementation progress of the five-year strategic plan to address adolescent pregnancy in Ghana. Speaking at a media review meeting, Deputy Representative of UNFPA Ghana, Dr. Agnes Inti Bayura, called for increased momentum in efforts to address adolescent pregnancies in Ghana and encourage tailored approaches to the COVID-19 pandemic to effectively tackle this issue. Thank you very much for watching this special edition of UNFPA's Humanitarian Response to the COVID-19 pandemic in Ghana. Don't forget to follow all our social media platforms for more updates. And remember, stay safe.